uh, how do we access our learning management system? Let me share the link of our learning management system in the chat. It's training.dhis2.org. So chances are that uh, probably if you have attended uh, uh, one of our online academy before, uh, you might have, you might be already having an account in this learning management system. But mind you, like we have two separate uh, uh, platforms to conduct the online learning academies. So, uh, I mean, like even because of that, sometimes you may not have a, you may not have an account on this platform. So what you have to do is, let me quickly share my screen so that I can show you. You need to visit training.dhis2.org. This is the website, the link is in the chat. And then click on new account. Okay, visit training.dhis2.org and click on new account. I hope you can uh, follow me while I'm doing it. Once you click on new account, in case if you're having any issues, please uh, mention it in the chat. Click on new account. And then you have to uh, fill in all the details that are requested. You can uh, select the username of your choice and put a password and then email address, this name, surname, city, country. And finally, click on create my account. Yes, if you are having an existing account in the same platform, uh, you can use the same account. But please make sure that uh, you have it on this, uh, because like uh, uh, what I would suggest is you try to log in or you try to create an account using the same email. So if you have an account registered on the email, then uh, it will uh, tell you that you have an account and then only you can use that one because we have two learning management systems that we are using for the uh, online training purposes. So uh, you might not probably ha be having an account on this one. So once you complete all the fields and click on create my new account, you should be receiving an email from our learning management system. If you have not received, please check, your, check the spam folder. Sometimes uh, there may be chances that it might have ended up in your spam. And in the email, there must be a link to activate your account. So please use that to log into the platform. Are you all with me? Any issues? Okay, great. And if you have activated your account, you can log in using the account you just created. I will give one more minute for everyone to create the account and check the email and activate it.
Right. So if you have already logged into the platform, this is uh, what you may likely to see if you are if you have newly created an account, but if you have already had a uh, had uh, enrolled yourself to one of our previous training programs, you may be seeing something. Um, I mean, like you may you may be able to see those courses somewhere here. But if not, uh, this is where you are going to land. Next, uh, what I want you all to do. is copy the link that I have mentioned in the chat, right? And, and paste it on your address bar like this. We have some issues with our version of the Moodle, uh, which we are trying to figure out, but our, uh, one shortcut is just to directly uh, paste the post link on your address bar and try to access it. So it's going to be training.dhs2.org slash course slash, I mean, we have this uh, lengthy URL, weave.php, I mean, course ID is 174. So just type that on the address bar and click on enter. Any issues? Okay, let me do that. All right. And this is where I'm going to land when I use this link. And here you are on the landing page of the course, Tracker Use Level 1 Online Asia. Okay, great. I will give uh, one more minute for everyone to uh, see this page. Okay, so uh, those of you who have uh, landed or who has been able to access to access this page, please click on this down arrow next to the cogwheel button here on the right top corner, just below the uh, our academy banner here, and click enroll me in this course. Right, exactly. So that is when uh, you are asked for an enrollment key. And I'm going to type the enrollment key in the chat. It is Academy, all capitals. This, this is the enrollment key. Just to summarize what we did, after you have created the account, try, type this link, training.dhs2.org slash course slash weave.php ID 175 on the address bar, and you will be able to access our academy landing page. And there in the right top corner, you'll be able to find a cogwheel button and next to it, you have the down arrow key, click on that and click on enroll me in this course. And then it will be asking for academic, uh, the enrollment key for that type academy, all capitals. Let me do that. Here, you, may, may, you mentioned the enrollment key, which is, of course, academy. And click on enroll me. Right. Yes, great. Hope everyone uh, was able to do it. Please let us know if you are having any issues. The enrollment key is Academy, all capitals. And click Enroll Me. Great. All right. 
I'm so glad that uh, nobody's having any issues. Okay, I'm going to enroll myself into the course. Click enroll me. And this is what you will see. All right, so uh, is there anyone who had any issues or who has not been able to enroll to the course yet? Please let us know in the chat uh, if you're having any issues so our team will be able to provide you with one-to-one uh, -one help. Right, okay. Yeah, uh, I guess we can proceed. Fine. So uh, I will just briefly run through what is there in, uh, in this Moodle platform. I guess most of you must be already familiar with this learning management system, Moodle, which is open source platform, which is widely used across educational institutes uh, around the globe. Right, so uh, this is our course page, Tracker Use Level 1 Online Asia, right? And here you will see a slightly updated template for our Moodle platform if you have used uh, the same before. So we have recently updated uh, our, our template. So it might be, uh, the, the, uh, the appearance might be somewhat new to you, but uh, don't get scared, it's the same content. So here uh, you will see the announcements. If you have any announcements, you, it will be listed here and Zoom meetings. So this is where you can find the links as well as the recordings for the Zoom uh, once it is available. And then the agenda, sorry, recordings will be uh, appearing right here. And the agenda for the academy, it's here. And then instructions to use Moodle, we have a document. You can see the link here. And once you have gone through them, I mean, uh, throughout the uh, Moodle platform, uh, you'll be seeing this mark as done. That is just to uh, make us aware that you have gone through the material and uh, you have seen them. So always you can click on this mark as done. And then we have um, the attendance. This is where you will be marking the attendance, right? For each of the day. So for day one, we have it here, right? So we'll be announcing uh, the word of the day shortly. And you just have to, uh, I mean, we, we, will, we will let you know how to mark the attendance when we are ready. So uh, this is where you can mark the attendance. I just wanted to show you where to mark the attendance. This is the block. And then we have a separate session for feedback, right? And here we have a feedback session for each of the days, right? So you have to uh, complete them at the end of the day. And then of course, uh, this is what we have already covered today, the course introduction, right? You have uh, the sessions we have done. All of them. And similarly, for the rest of the day, so everything that we'll be covering will be available here. And uh, on the final day, we will also have a link here for the examination. So I guess um, that's it for now. We'll be going into more detail about uh, different sections and components in Moodle when required. Uh, in next couple of days, but I think this is a kind of a brief overview for you to get oriented on how to use Moodle. Is, if there are any issues, please um, raise them in the chat. If not, I think we can, yeah. If not, I think uh, we can next move on to the demonstration of the Academy DHIS2 instance. So basically Academy DHIS2 instance is the DHIS2 instance which you'll be using uh, to practice everything that we do during the academy. So uh, Saurabh, over to you. Yeah, thanks, Pramod. Okay, so I'll share my screen.
Okay. So uh, we'll be using two DHS2 instances uh, over the course of the academy. Um, so we'll be sharing the links on the uh, announcement channel on the Slack. Uh, you do not need to create your own users. There is a template user which is given here, Academy and Stop COVID-19. So you should all be able to use the DHS2 instance to the common username and password. Um, so as we discussed during the use case presentation, we are looking at uh, two uh, use cases, one for COVID-19 surveillance and uh, the contact tracing and the COVID-19 vaccine registry. So the surveillance tracker and the vaccine registry would be our main programs and the contact case mapping would be our support program that we'll be using for uh, uh, the demonstrations and your graded and ungraded assignments. So uh, there is fictional data available for Lao PDR uh, and these dashboards, uh, as you might be aware, these are part of the default uh, COVID-19 package for surveillance and, and vaccine registry. So we have uh, dummy data available uh, for uh, the entire country. And during our demonstrations and your exercises, you'll be asked to select um, uh, any number of province or facilities, depending upon the exercise questions. So for the ones who are known to DHIS2, so there is the app drawer available here and there are different applications which uh, you will be using uh, across the next four days. The key applications that we'll be focusing upon would be the tracker capture app, which is basically your data collection app for your tracker programs. We'll be using uh, event reports where you can generate your line listing and ad hoc aggregations for case-based data. Then you have event visualizer, which is your chatting app for the tracker or events data. The dashboard app where you can design your own dashboards and do all sort of sharing with the different user groups. And we'll have a look at data visualizer, which has your mechanisms to create your chart and tables for your uh, program indicators, which are basically your aggregation of case data and your uh, indicators if you are creating indicators to different aggregate and tracker sources combined and then we have the maps application which has all kind of spatial analysis mechanisms for uh, your uh, events data uh, the enrollments data for tracker and you have program indicators and indicators to be used on different uh, type of maps which are available so if we review quickly the programs which are available, if you go to tracker capture, then you will have the hierarchy for Lao. So there are different provinces and there are different districts and facilities given here. So you could select any of the uh, facility here and you will have three programs, COVID-19 case surveillance, COVID-19 contact registration follow-up and COVID-19 vaccination registry. Uh, each of these programs have fictional data available uh, for uh, uh, your various demonstrations, your exercises, so you will be accessing that. Uh, in tomorrow's session, we'll have a review of the Tracker Capture app and uh, all the ways and the functionalities you can use for collecting data through this application and same on web and Android. So you'll have specific users for Android application also that we'll share with you when we cover the Android sessions. Then you have the contact registration follow-up program, which has details of the, the contacts which were registered. And then you also have your vaccination registry program, where we'll also discuss these working lists, which you can create to see all clients, the clients which have completed their second doses, those are missed second dose, who are, uh, uh, who are scheduled to come to that health facility for getting their vaccinations. So we'll have a look at all these functionalities which are uh, available here. Then we have all these analysis applications which you will use. So each day you'll have instructions to use what application and what are your graded assignments and ungraded assignments which the instructions available on Moodle with each session as Pamod just demonstrated. Uh, we have another uh, instance 
uh, for uh, one specific session where we'll be discussing custom web apps on day five. So we'll use another instance for that, for testing the, the custom web apps. So we will share the URL for that specific instance in due course. I'll paste this URL on the Slack channel because the Zoom history gets cleared away after the call. So we'll put this channel, uh, this URL in the announcements channel so that you can access the instance in future. And I repeat, uh, you don't need to uh, enroll or create a new user. You can use the template user for doing all sort of activities which are required as part of your exercises and uh, if you want to review anything for the exam. So this was a quick overview of the tracker instance that we will be using for our uh, academy. Um, any questions, please feel free to put on the Slack channel or in the Zoom chat. I see there are a couple of questions on the Zoom chat. I'll just quickly respond to them and also paste them into the Slack channel so that they could be used for further reference. Um, so I think the question was regarding the uh, the contacts and the case surveillance program so ibrahim asked are the contacts considered and samples collected from them uh, in the program basically we're collecting symptomatic data so we're not collecting data for testing for contacts in the program itself but if the testing has happened and has been requested or the person is symptomatically suspected cases for covid then you register that person as a new record in the COVID case surveillance program. You do not add that as a new stage. Okay. So you register a contact and uh, you collect symptomatic data. If the person has uh, is reporting to have symptoms of COVID-19, then you register or uh, enroll that person into the COVID case surveillance program and you take all the next documentation steps as you do for uh, any COVID patient. So you are registering COVID cases separately, you're registering COVID case contacts separately, then you're creating a relationship between the COVID case and the contact. And if the contact happens to be another suspected case based on the symptoms, you enroll that person into the COVID uh, case surveillance program so that his individual information can be taken uh, from there. Uh, so I hope that uh, answers the question. Uh, yes, we will share the instance links on the Slack channel. So I'll just immediately post them uh, so that you guys can access and have a quick uh, view before we start using them from tomorrow. Uh, so as per the agenda, we were supposed to have a session on uh, joining Slack, but I see most of you have joined the the slack uh, platform if any of you is yet to get an invitation for joining slack please put your emails in the chat box we will quickly add you to the slack channels so that you can make use of the information which is shared there uh, so we'll take a break for 15 minutes and we'll start with the last session of the day on tracker data model key terms and the conceptual overview and in the during the break if uh, you don't have access to slack till now uh, please put in your email ids on the chat zoom chat and we'll quickly start adding you to um, uh, the slack channels uh, so thank you and we look forward to the next session after the break <laughs>